For the great tragedy that is death, there is a certain level of irony, or humor depending on the perspective, in a witty one-liner to capstone one's life. And although the sadness of one's passing can never be understated, humor in any situation can make difficult situations ever so slightly easier to manage. This was hopefully the case for these five figures in history who we deemed as having some of the most interesting, peculiar, bizarre, or downright funny last words in history. Beginning with number five on our list, Richard Feynman. Feynman, the preeminent mid-20th century physicist, author, musician, professor, and traveler, passed away in 1988 at the age of 69 from kidney failure in Los Angeles, California. Admittedly, for a man who accomplished as much as Feynman did in his life, his last words were pretty fitting, as he proclaimed that, quote, this dying is boring. Number four, Johnny Ace. Perhaps the most tragic and least self-aware entry on the list, Ace was a famous R&B singer who was mid-concert during his 1954 event. Messing around with a pistol with a friend backstage, Johnny Ace's last words were, quote, I'll show you that it won't shoot. Unfortunately, the pistol was fully functional. Number three, Benjamin Franklin. As the penman of some of English language's most common catchphrases, this is perhaps one of Franklin's least notorious. Granted, the circumstances in which he uttered it don't make it very broadly applicable. As he lay dying in his bed at the age of 84, an extraordinary age for the era in which Franklin lived, his daughter told him to change positions to breathe more easily. Cognizant of his circumstances and never far from a wise saying, Franklin spoke his final words, quote, a dying man can do nothing easily. Number two, murderer, James W. Rogers. The level of humor in these entries seems to correlate heavily to what made the person who uttered the words famous. Murderers apparently have a penchant for humor on their way out. In the case of James W. Rogers, he was sentenced to death via firing squad for his crimes in Utah. On the day of his execution, he was asked before the triggers were pulled if he had any final requests. He replied, quote, bring me a bulletproof vest. Number one, mobster Charles Lucky Luciano. In addition to his criminal activity, Lucky Luciano was known for his involvement in helping the United States government coordinate with the Sicilian Mafia during World War II to reduce his prison sentence. Not one to fly too far under the radar of authorities or anyone else, Luciano's final words, which ultimately came to fruition, were, quote, Tell Georgie I want to get in the movies, one way or another. Georgie, or somebody else, must have thought this was a fantastic proposition, because his story would go on to be told in the movie Lucky Luciano, The Last Testament of Lucky Luciano, and a handful of others. His character was also portrayed in HBO's Boardwalk Empire. These have been our selections for five of history's most interesting last words, but comment down below if you know of any other famous last words that should be included in a future video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.